Trouble with translation could have caused fallen Japanese soldiers to be labelled heroes at the rebuilt monument marking their graves. State Tourism Committee Chairman Muhammad Asmirul Anwar Aris said the translation error might have occurred when Japanese officers tried communicating with Malay contractors commissioned to make the signboards of the monument. Muhammad Asmirul apologised to Malaysians on behalf of Kedah History Society for the technical problem, stressing that the monument was only about three Japanese soldiers and not heroes. On whether Kedah government will demolish the new monument, Muhammad Asmirul said the state regarded it as a historical site and would preserve it. He expressed regret that Kedah MCA youth put up new banners on the monument on Sunday evening. Muhammad Asmirul said the state would lodge a police report against Kedah MCA youth for trying to play up racial sentiments. Meanwhile, Tourism, Arts and Culture Minister Datuk Muhammadin Ketapi said the monument does not fall under the purview of his ministry. Despite attracting public rebuke and bad publicity, the monument has begun drawing locals. When asked for their thoughts on the monument, most did not hold back strong words. I don't really can digest. How can we thank the party who came to Malaya and attacked our ancestors last time? And they hurt us. So we do this kind of monument uh, sort of to, as a symbol to thank people. So why must the state government accept this kind of proposal from the Japanese consulate? I, I, as a Malaysian citizen, I can't digest this. I'm against all this. My opinion is that uh, not necessary to put up this monument. It had occurred so many years ago, right? So, no, no, in order to avoid controversial, I think this should not should not have been put up. Uh, let the past be the past. No more. We go back to the history. The monument was built to honour Lieutenant Hajime Asai, who had been instructed to destroy the Alor Sitar Bridge during the Japanese occupation of Malaya.